opening for the Center of Civil and Human Rights in Atlanta, Georgia. this far and to have an institution that's going to every day impact visitors. I just couldn't be more happy. It's great. Kwanzaa Hall, Man City Councilman for District 2. We're going to celebrate the grand opening of the Center for Civil and Human Rights. It means so much to all of us to see this happen as a board member, founding board member, and the person who wrote legislation to help make this possible. It, it feels so good today to see so, it happen. I'm sure you're thinking of your dad today. Yes, yes. What do you think your dad is thinking from above? Well, I think, uh, one, he would be excited to know that we're not only celebrating uh, this legacy that we have in the city related to Dr. King, but now we've expanded to make it an international message um, that, you know, civil and human rights really do matter, and it is ingrained in the fabric of this city, and we plan to make this a place for dialogue, discourse, and solutions to all the conflict, all the challenges that we have around the world. At least we can play our role in that, coming straight from Atlanta in partnership with Coca-Cola and so many other great institutions that help to make this possible. Thanks to the leadership of Mayor Shirley Franklin, as well as uh, Doug Chipman to get us over the hurdle, and all the board members and all the donors who, who made this possible. Yeah.